No. V, rest you're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you think I'm that stupid? You really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came... Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. Being unusually quiet. What's up? I see no point in arguing with Saul. We can't win. So, giving up? Of course not. We'll take the Basilisk ourselves, then wait for Saul to admit we were right. Either that, or to boot us out of the family. I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess. Whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes. A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this Biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay. So you do want to go behind Saul's back and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations, like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. You guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. Thought you and Saul agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You want to fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life, yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. And you plan to grab the Basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. 
We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job. Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know. But you guys. A few years back, nobody would have given corporal work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. It's all too easy, convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need, coming your way almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. But, are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Oh, don't bug me, kid. Let's go. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnic suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed they would not. The Raffins, what about them? You expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, uh... Never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I'll remember that. We have arrived. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay. 
The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how, exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Any of this goes south, you know Pan Am will be the one to pay. Do you see us hanging her out to dry? Do you see Saul letting us off the hook while Pan Am takes the fall for everything? I'm starting to like this kid, Ted. He thinks he cares about Pan Am more than the girl's own family. He didn't take her side last time when she left the clan. Why? Because last time, Pan Am was acting a damn fool. You thinking she learned something? She's smarter? Yes, she left. Learned a few things. Managed on her own. I knew when to come back. People like that are worth a lot more than those who plant their asses in one spot and do as they're told. to make yourself useful? I've never seen old tech like this. You know your way around it. How'd you learn? From books? Just wait till you see what's inside the signal tower. They use punch cards. Punch cards! <laughs> Can you believe it? What cards now? An old data storage method. When the net collapsed, we were thrown back to the 20th century. What's it even look like? They're cardboard cards with holes punched in them, as code in columns. Each hole position, punched or not, represents a unit of data. Honestly, prefer Pan Am to punch cards as a topic of conversation. <laughs> Let me guess. You don't really know why you're here, do you? Pan Am asked me for help. Mm-hmm. She came back to the fold, sweet-talked Mitch and the rest over to her side. But still, she calls you. Interesting, isn't it? Even if we pull it off, Saul will be pissed. I can see his- Remember when we first met? You almost had a pound in your pants at the thought of falling foul of Saul. I don't recall leaving Pan Am high and dry, though. Now you're gonna stick it to him plain? <laughs> something change? Uh-huh. I realize Pan Am is right. How's it going over here? Fantastic. We have everything hooked up, and nothing works. Uh, it works. Though not reliably. V, could you scan it? Because I am not open to the prospect of taking it all apart again. Capacitor's damaged. Third from the right. Hmm. Indeed. Hold on. Let me swap it out. Time to try it again. Hey, it works. Thanks, V. But in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. Ah, that was quick. The stairs 
as it is, then. Mitch and Bob are already... Got a little help from... There is truly. I've always been fond of trains, and the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off in a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay, here we are. Cards punched with a bunch of holes. Let me help look. Okay, thank you. Nothing here. Nothing here. Some sort of Stone Age control panel. Let's find the cards first. Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, V? The card. In the reader?
Here goes nothing. It worked. Come look. Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. Missed you. Pretty bad. Oh, well, this means... Oh, wait, just, just wait. This is not how we usually talk. No time like the present. Okay, go ahead. That was a joke. Listen, V. I believe I know where this is going. And not to your liking? No, it's not that. I also wish to talk about it, just not so openly. My plan was to tiptoe around, test the waters, then retreat back into my shell. Sounds like a plan. What went wrong? It seems you saw right through me. Didn't have a clue how you'd react. You're not the only one shooting in the dark. I would not want to cock this up. Well, that's a start. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh. Noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Don't feel any impulse at all right now? Shame. I was hoping you did. I do. But I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close. If only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right, let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Could still Sit your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. You worried about Saul? Quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another once over. The stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ah, 
Was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. The Scorpion. And a Jackie. We don't talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. And it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. Get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Grown kind of cold out here. Not true. But this is nice. Catch some shut eye with me. I'll just lie here a while, by her side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V. Get her up to speed.
going faster than we thought. I don't know if we can catch them. Uncouple one of the cars. It'll speed you up. Hey, no coming in falling. Take out that couple. Plan, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You better move. Ready to roll.
How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. lost the Militech channel. The suits finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing if you ask me. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Fuck! Pan Am! So it begins. of this exactly what you see the basilisk all i see is two trucks with giant militech logos on them fuck pan am you can see them from miles away you think we don't have problems enough on our hands the raffins could rear their heads at any moment and now we have militech to worry about too stop it fuck just shut up already do you want to serve corporations forever fine go right ahead in that case We'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seem to still be in fine working order. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. You need me again? All you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Thank you. 